The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the November 4th, the terrific Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on those circumstances of the market. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Go ahead, send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show questions, just like Lee B did here, that would be wonderful. And, of course, in our Tigers den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. A mixed bag out here. Dow's off 107. S&P's up 9. NASDAQ's up 162. That's 1%. Russell's off 3. That's one tenth of a percent. The trannies are down 31. Composite's up 95. Wilshire's up 54. Uh, the spot politics is up 97 cents out there. XAU is down 87 pennies. And gold is up 29 bucks. And silver's up 70 cents. We've got some wacky markets out here. And it's not even a Wednesday where you would have that wacky market. So instead, it's the Thursday edition of the wacky market mode. Lights we crude down 54 cents, trade at 80.30, about 80.30. Leading the charge dollar-wise, the upside is Amazon up 83.70, booking holdings 50, Google 36, Etsy up 34, Shopify 31. To the downside, Moderna's off 65, that's 19%. Equinix off 38, 5% light speed, down 31 percent, uh, 30 bucks. Uh, BioNTech off 26 or 9 percent. I believe in the case of Moderna, it's uh, generated a new A to B equals CD to the downside. That's certainly one of the potential patterns that is in play out here. We can take a quick look at that. So right now, and I'm using the conservative version of this A to B equals CD. That means I'm going to start with the swing point from September 23rd. The that's the A point. The B point was the low on October 7th. Volume there was 15 million shares. You've already done 21 million shares and taken it out. Now, price is also below the bottom of its bullish structured week. Weekly profile. So the monthly profile says the target is 231. 191 is the one to one A to B equals CD pattern out there. So I would be one, and short of seeing any other signals out here, which I don't have on my other charts just yet, uh, there's a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside that should take us in that 191 level. The next area of support really would be at 231. That's what's going on inside of Moderna. So if you're long that, please have some stops in place out here because you're getting a really bearish kind of message as we speak right now. With regard to the general markets, let's get back to those, see what we can figure out here. So first of all, if we take a look at the uh, four equity future contracts, there are no new profiles. I can share with you the Dow has attempted a couple different times during the morning to form a new profile, but it, there, we just simply don't have that. So if we don't have that, what does that mean? That means all we've got is potential support, which would be all the way down at the top of those daily profiles, 45.9 in the ES, 15.43 in the NQ, 35.689 in the YM, 23.07. I'm not saying those are the targets, but they would be the targets, especially if we did see a bearish reversal candle. We don't have that, so what does that mean? Well, if we switch over and take, I think we did this yesterday, but we're going to do it again today. We switch over and take a look at our other four panel daily equity charts out here, equity future contracts. I'm going to change screens. Here, what we're going to see is that uh, 
you can see that the ES and the NQ have similar patterns. What I mean by that is today should become bar number seven for both. Now, what we do know about the TD9 count uh, pattern out here, if it's going to identify a, a top in this case, it'll happen on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. So that says that uh, tomorrow, Friday, could be could be a, a topping signal out there, um, or could be uh, Monday or it could be Tuesday. But that's only in the ES and the NQ. If we take a look at the Dow, she's a day behind. Today is going to become bar number six. So that says it would be Tuesday, I'm sorry, it'd be Monday through Wednesday in its case as a potential. And the Russell 2000 in a world of its own, only bar number four today. So it won't be a TD9 count top that uh, would identify the uh, top there. So what does that mean or what should you expect? Well, this is what's going on in the daily time frame. So let's go take a look and look under the hood at 1.11 in the afternoon and figure out what's going on in the short term charts out here so we can see what are those signals telling us. These are the 30 minute time frame charts. Up in the upper left, you've got the ES mini. It has a confirmed road momentum indicator top. Price moves lower and moves below. Let me just expand this chart out because this um, uh, shows uh, one of the one of the things that you and I always talk about, which is understanding the bullish and bearish structured profiles. So when we take a look at this here, you can see how price clearly uh, moved right down below it at the 1130 time frame, uh, shot its way up. It found resistance at the center of that bear bullish structured. 30-minute uh, profile. Now, the importance about that is that where would a counter trend rally find resistance? And it would be at the center of that bullish structured profile. So as long as price remains below 46.68.50 is what we'll call it, or 75, then what we might really be getting is an A to B equals CD to the downside out here. Uh, so watch for that. If price closes above the 46, let's call it 46.69. If price closes above that, well, then it uh, negates that idea in that pattern and would suggest that price would go back and test today's high in the 46.74 level. But right now, the information is we should expect or anticipate some type of A to B equals C D to the downside on the 30-minute time frame. In the case of the NQ, the NQ much stronger than the ES Mini. What I mean by that, it also formed a Rhodes momentum indicator top, but price just simply got back to the bullish area of its bullish structured profile so it does has not given us a breakdown signal so the question is is the nq going to say ah screw the uh, es mini i'm going to go ahead and lead things higher and the es mini will follow that's a possibility so we really want to see here if the, any kind of intraday move is going to be lower you certainly want to get that confirmation inside the nq the dow is weaker than all four of the instruments here it was last night when it formed a td9 count top a roads momentum indicator top um, its oscillator and change line just changed colors as we came on the air at 1 o'clock. So we could see a move up to that level, and that's at the 35,981 level. Other than that, what the Dow Equity Future contract is suggesting is it wants to make a move back to 35,774. And inside the Russell 2000, she too has a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. That was confirmed with the Three River uh, Evening Star. Price right now is uh, testing the bottom of a new profile that formed at 1 o'clock. 23,9770 is the level to watch. There, if you see a close below that, that's probably setting up an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, all of that, folks, that's just the short-term time frames. Even if we see those move low moves lower, does that mean that we've seen a top in the marketplace? And my answer would be no. We would have to see bearish reversal signals on the daily time frame. We would have to see at least the oscillator and change lines uh, get closed below. And so this is just intraday stuff that you and I are looking at out there. But it applies to understanding CV system, our TAS market profiles, the A to B equals CD pattern, the TD9s, the whole kit, and Caboodle. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back. Let's go down to Martinez, California. We're going to speak with Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? Oh, I'm doing pretty well, Steve. I'm hanging in there, just in the Good. midst of a pretty serious family crisis, just trying to cope with that and, and just, you know, oh, try to deal with that the best we can. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that, but uh, that's part of the uh, family life stuff. Uh, I dealt with one yesterday afternoon myself, so I uh, kind of understand. But I know you called to talk about Micron Technology, so let's both take our minds off of family stuff and take a look at what's going on with Micron Technology. Now, I believe that you're long this. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, I started to ask this question the other day when I talked in. We got cut off. And, oh, right. Um, yeah, got, I'm, not, total I'm not sure if you got any of that in there or not, but uh, that, that's kind of irrelevant. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, um, yeah. I am long. I know we talked about this before, looking for some bottoming patterns, and I just decided to. I've been watching it for a while, and it seemed like it was holding around that 64, 65 level. Yes. So I, I figured with the market, you know, it was indicated, or at least in the new that it wanted to go up. So I thought I'll go ahead and take a shot. And, and uh, thinking that it would go up with the market so far, it's done that. So I'm in right around, you know, between 66, 67 area. And just okay. watching it and just want to get your thoughts on, you know, areas to be watching above, you know, accounts, all those kind of things you typically look at. Absolutely. Okay, so let's let's do that. So uh, when Brent and I uh, were on the phone uh, together a couple days ago, we had a big power outage up in uh, in St. Pete and that took us off the air. Uh, we had identified 
inside of the daily time frame chart. This had confirmed an A to B equals CD to the upside. It did it with this candle right here on October 14th. That was a bull separating candle. Um, so, and now today, yesterday, price closed above the top of its daily profile at 71.07. Today, it's still above that level. So that suggests a, a potential change in trend that is going on. When we take a look at the weekly chart, so if we're going to see a, a turn, we would see it on a shorter term time frame before a longer term time frame. Well, if we move over to the weekly, now the week is not over, but right now what we have is a bullish engulfing candle that is confirming a weekly uh, by the D point. So that suggests that the next resistance level from a profile standpoint, Brent, is 75.88. And although I can look at the monthly chart and see there is no pattern here, we can go confirm that, but there's no pattern here. The pattern is that price pulled back to test the bottom of that monthly profile. Now, it did close below it in October. It's regained that level. And so as long as price stays above 70.70, all three of these charts suggest that a bottom is in. So any questions about the black background charts or what I shared with you. And if I didn't say this, I want to make sure I did, which was there's a new weekly profile. The support level there is 66.69 and resistance is 75.88. So any question, Brent, about these three charts? I think that takes care of it there, Steve. And I guess the white background shows that we... Yeah, because here's what... here's. Yeah, here's the real rub right now, or the real resistance level, and that is the oscillator and change line for the weekly time frame. So the good news and the bad news, at least at this moment at 121 in the afternoon, we're getting a confirmed by the D point, a Gartley buy pattern on a weekly basis. So that's very strong. And where prices run into is that oscillator and change line, which changed colors about four weeks ago. And what we know is when that changes colors, we anticipate a rally up to that level. So what you'd really like to see is a close above 72.49. Uh, that would then get us on our way to the top of that weekly profile and above that back to 96.8. Now, this is not something where I would sell. Uh, but if I do go to the short term time frame charts here just to see if there's any type of topping signals, I'm just not seeing them. So no reason to sell. Just know that you're up against a battle. That battleground is about the 72, 49, 72, 50 level out there. So that's what you need to see price overtake. It doesn't have to take place today, but you certainly want to see price overtake that level. Okay? That's great, Steve. I appreciate it so much. Just have yourself a great day and a great weekend. I will. And always good to t speak to you, Brent, and uh, hopefully all is well on the uh, family matters. We'll look forward to speaking to you hopefully next week. Let's go to our next caller. It's John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Steve, I'm doing very well. Thanks. Uh, thanks for taking the call. My pleasure as always. And it's J.P. Morgan that uh, you'd like to uh, take a look at. So uh, tell us what you're what you're looking at, how I can best help you. Back on September 30th, Steve, I uh, spoke with uh, Tom O'Brien on his show. Yes. <clears throat> when he was happening just to look at the chart, I pulled it up, and I noticed looking at it like a 10- or 15-year monthly chart, it was making or the price rally into $170 a share, a new record high, looked to be meeting a very, very large AB equals CD target. Okay. Now, you and I both, you and I both know very, very well just because you reach a uh, wave equality target doesn't mean you're going to that you're going to turn and reverse or top in this case. But on those long-term uh, charts with that sort of setup, I always just put the charts in front of me. Sure. Uh, so um, having done so. What I'm looking uh, for you to share with us, and I'm looking at you uh, do the monthly chart in Tiger TV, so I apologize for just getting distracted here. But no, no problem. Can you share what levels of support, if broken, would suggest we've got an important intermediate term high in J.P. Morgan here up at that 172.73 area? Sure. So the answer to that question is 142.77. But with price trading at 167.11 now, um, I'm sure you'd like to have some other intermediate uh, term levels. Now, 142.77, John, was the bottom of its monthly profile. And as we take a look at this chart here, I would say if price closes below that, that would be a confirmation of a um, you know of a change in trend. Now that's coming from the monthly time frame chart. But what I want to do is just switch over to my uh, eight panel charts that have the multi time frames out there. But be just before I do that, so I gave you the answer to your question. But the first level that price would need to close below to confirm that there may be something going on here, I would have to say would be the top of the monthly profile. 
And that's at 162.51. So that would be the first level that I would be observing. Any questions so far before I go to the white background chart? Got you there. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so let's switch over to these white background charts, folks. It'll take just a moment to do that. And we're going to see a monthly chart up in the upper left-hand corner. And I'm going to expand this chart out. And what you're going to see here about J.P. Morgan is that uh, I believe that the A to B equals CD pattern John, that you were looking at that might have completed would have been in June of 2021? Or or if not, that certainly is something I would have looked at. That was a TD9 count top. That was a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal top. And what Price then did was what it was supposed to do, which was try to work its way back to support. Well, in the case of support here was really the oscillator and change line. Now, it didn't completely get down there, but we did get a test and rejection of that back in September. But what's really important was last month. And last month's was a close above the TD9 count top. And that says that really there's a strong acceleration move to the upside. But then it gets back to your question. And, and just because that's what the market is communicating to us now, both you and I know that that could change in a heartbeat. So if it did change in a heartbeat, the level to be watching, that gets us back to the 162.51 level. But now we have a new area to watch, John. And that would be we would need to see a close below that green oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 158.63. So let's just use 158 as a, a round number level that if price were to get below, uh, that would be signaling, okay, we get back to the 142 area. Um, where I, I hear music in the background. And so stick with us, if you will, John. We come back, we'll continue to take a look at J.P. Morgan and uh, try to provide you with all the levels you're looking for. Steve Rhodes with TFN. Folks, I'd love to hear from you as well. 877-927-6648. We'll be back in just a few. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Let's finish taking a look at J.P. Morgan. We looked at the monthly chart. What we've identified is the 158, 162 level is a key area of support. As we look to the weekly time frame, no topping signal that is out here just yet. But with price below that oscillator and change line, that certainly opens the door to go back and test support. There it's 157.41. So here we're back to the 158-ish type area. Uh, that makes sense. If we look at the daily time frame, no topping signal, but price consolidating with inside a bearish structured profile. It's well below the center of that profile, which is at 170.31. That suggests they move back to 165.02. That is the bottom of that daily profile. So how do we get to the 158 level, Stevie? Well, that's pretty simple. John, if you see a close below 165.02, price should move all the way back to its breakout area, and that's 157.67. So I know you're looking at it, this at more of a longer term uh, time frame out here, and that's what the monthly, weekly, and daily time frame uh, charts uh, generate for us. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the call, and have a, a great uh, day. Going to go check here for some requests that have come in by email. The first one from Lee B. Lee wants to take a look at URA. So let me do this here, folks. Give me a moment to uh, change screens out here. So we'll pull up uh, both the black background and uh, be able to pull my white background charts onto it. So first, let's go pull up URA and take a look at where it's trading in relationship to profiles. Let's also answer, or let's find out what Lee's question is. Looking for an entry back into URA. Uh, could you run through it on your system for good entry points? So at this stage here, and take a look at the uh, daily, weekly, and monthly profiles, um, We'd have to go with 27.57 if price pulled back. That's the top of the weekly profile. So that would be an area to take a look at. Let's pull over my uh, daily and weekly chart here for URA, see if there's any other signal information. Uh, I do see wave number seven that is forming. Now, the only way that gets confirmed is with a lower high. So that can't be confirmed until tomorrow. If we have a higher high, then that moves it off till Monday. So that most certainly can be a topping signal. It's triggered a rose momentum indicator pattern. But what price did today here, Lee, was a bullish test. Price pulled back, tested, and rejected that green oscillator and change line at the 2904 level. So you're going to have to wait uh, to get a uh, confirmation of a top, certainly on a daily time frame, and then some type of uh, pullback. Now, when I say some type of pullback, what we really want to do uh, is go take a look at a short-term time frame, like a 30-minute, and catch some type of pattern to the downside. Maybe it's an A to B equals CD. Maybe it's a TD9 count. Maybe it's pulling back to its breakout level of 2711. I don't know which pattern, if any, that it's going to be, but really we want to put that together with price pulling back into a potential support area on the daily time frame. For example, 2905. I don't know if there was anything at 2905 this morning. Um, doesn't look like it is from a pattern standpoint, but that's what we would really want to do, Lee. On a weekly chart, um, if price closes above last week's high, this is tomorrow, Last week's high was 29.63. It'll negate its roads momentum indicator signal. That'll suggest that uh, your wait's going to be a little bit longer because price should continue moving higher. So you'd like to see price not take out that uh, signal out there. And then for price to get below the 29.05 level, and then let's look for a short-term time frame pattern, uh, whether it's on the 30 or the 65 or the 195, um, you know, we'll take a look at those when it happens. But now is not that moment. And and so I'm not going to give you a, a wag here, a wild ask. Uh, you, you, oh, I meant wild guess out there. Sorry about that. In any event, let's go to uh, Nancy's question. This is Nancy, uh, fancy Nancy, from... Um, Mm, 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 mm. I'm not sure where. Is it maybe Nancy in Canada? 
Uh, it doesn't really matter where Nancy is from. What Nancy wants to take a look at is Apple. She is a big Apple trader out here, so we want to go try to provide her with the information she's looking for. Right now, just looking at these charts, and then we'll go back to her question. You can see that the resistance level for Apple is at 152.84. Now let's get to Nancy's question. Steve, if you could give your projection for Apple. Okay, so that's going to be the first projection is resistance, 152.84, uh, over the next few days. You'd appreciate it. Uh, so until price takes that level out, that is where the war is. That is where the battleground is at. That is where the sellers reside, 152.84. Um, you are in and out on uh, 140 November 26 calls. Okay, you're profitable. So if you could email one of those big, okay, yeah, got it. Okay. So Nancy uh, uh, is a subscriber. So I, I will, she's asking for some charts, which I will absolutely send to her to assist her with her trading out here. So you're asking really about the next couple of days out here, and that 152, 54 level is really key. So the last time that price was up here on a daily time frame, this was on the trading day, Nancy, of October 28th, 100 million shares. You're at 34 million shares today. So you're not getting a signal that price is going to be able to take out that high. By the way, that high was at uh, 153.16. That was, in essence, you know, running into this 152.84-ish area out there. That was last week. So we know it's a real strong resistance area. As I pull over my other charts here, what happens if price can get through that level, 152.84? Where's the next resistance? 155.48. So that takes us to the daily time frame chart. That takes us to the TD9 breakdown area. Now, what you like on a daily basis about Apple, it forms wave number seven. That's letter G. One day pull back to test the bottom of its profile that support as well as its green oscillator and change line after that line had changed color so it's really very bullish however that being said we know where sellers reside and until those sellers get taken out we won't see the 155 48 level on the weekly time frame chart we can also see that uh, prices finding resistance at its oscillator and change line so there's a couple and you've got wave number seven you've got a roads momentum indicator top on a weekly basis uh, but again support in essence is held at this stage of the game Real quickly, on a short-term time frame, do we have any kind of signals out here? I don't see anything on a 30. I don't see much on a 65. I don't see anything on the 130, and I don't see anything on the 195 out there. So it's all about the battle, and that battle is the top of that uh, profile out there, Nancy. Not much additional information that I can provide to you, but I will send you those charts after the uh, show. So thanks so much for being a subscriber and, of course, listening in. Hector! And the fuel injectors, that would be Patty. They want to take a look at one of their favorite stocks, and that is NVDA, NVIDIA out here. It was on a roar yesterday. Is it roaring today? Most likely is. So as we take a look at NVIDIA, we can see this is trade. Oh, it is really roaring. 299.86. It's above all profile levels out there. Let's go figure out what Hector's question is here. Happy Thirsty and Tequila and Chips Thursday out there. Boy, we like the uh, sound of that. And uh, you've always taught us... Uh, the uh, further to the left of the C to D line, the more powerful the move is. That is correct with regard to the A to B equals C D pattern. And so you're asking about the A to B equals C D on a weekly basis, what it looks like to me. And there's a lot of them that we could draw in here. But the one that I will draw in is the one that is most logical to me. Describe that to me, Steve-O. Perfect. Don't you love how I just talk to myself? You probably don't, but I got to talk to somebody. So we can see back here, back here is in the March time frame, price pulling back into the support of its weekly profile. So that's what I'm going to use in this case here as our A point of an A to B equals CD. There's many different points we could use for the A point, but I want to just use an area of support that held. So that becomes our A point, which is basically the week of March the 8th out there. The B point out here is going to be the high from, or that I'm going to use is July 5th and retracement. Let's actually get all oh, Stevie screwed up here. We're going to unscrew it and uh, try to get that A point again. There we go. Get the B point out here. And now the C point was the low hector from July 19th. So in this case here, today's move takes it on the inside, uh, takes it on the left side of that C to D leg. But really, this A to B equals CD pattern was already suggesting that this would be more than a one to one A to B equals CD. What do you mean, Steve-O? The B to C retracement was only 32%. When you only get a 32% or a 0.382% retracement out there, folks, it's most likely going to do more than a 1 to 1 A to B equals CD. Well, right now we're over the 1.272. This says the next target for NVIDIA is 329. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back.
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back. I still have the NVIDIA chart for the weekly time frame because I really wanted to cover something uh, out here because somebody might have been looking at this chart or maybe you're going to listen to the archive. And the question you'd say was, well, Steve, why didn't you choose the swing point that was testing the support level of its TAS market profiles from March 16, 2020, instead of using the uh, level here from uh, March 8th? And somebody might have said, well, Steve, price was testing support on May 10th when price was pulling back to test the top of that daily profile. Why didn't you use that swing point? All those are great questions. And so what I do, because when I look at this chart here, I can easily make the case that those would be the levels that we would take a look at. And Certainly, you can put all of those in there. But when I get confused out here, what that means is that we maybe have too much noise in this chart. So what I like to do is go to a larger time frame. And here's the larger time frame. We go from a weekly to a monthly. Now, when I put this monthly chart on the screen out here, what I know is uh, we have synergy. That everybody would say, hey, Steve-O, that is the A to B equals CD pattern that is in place for NVIDIA uh, because you can clearly see the A point, which takes us back into the 2018 time frame. Very clear that that's the A point. That was uh, December 2018. B point is very clear. February of 2021. Retracement was just simply one month into March of 2021. And now what we can see here, Hector, is yes, now you take a look at this larger A to B equals CD, and you can see that over time, NVIDIA is going to continue motoring higher. You've got a 32% retracement. <coughs> 
You've got price way on the left-hand side of the chart. We've taken care, we've gotten rid of all the noise so that you and I can clearly see the predominant A to B equals CD pattern. And this suggests a nice pr next price target of 314.05. So I hope that that helped clear it up. And just simply a, a little trick or a tool uh, that when you're confused about some type of chart that you're looking at go to the next time frame up maybe even have to go two time frames up but get rid of some of the noise so that you can clearly see the a to b equals cd pattern Whew. okay we got rid of that or we finished that and now let's go out to ron in denver hey ron thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you today great steve appreciate taking the call sure uh i was wondering uh, i was looking at uh, rcen or three con Dog, I can't think of the, the name. Regenerate, R G E N. I'm sorry. Yes. They uh, they brought out their earnings. Their numbers are really good. About a week ago, the stock was down where it's where it's at, and mm -hmm. then it ran all the way up, and now it's fallen down. And I think it's fallen down, even though they had good numbers, probably in sympathy with uh, um, Moderna. But yeah, Moderna. I understand. And yeah, I just yeah. wondered, is it too soon to get involved with R C E N? So if we take like a regenerate, R-E-G-N, R-E-G-N. R-E-G-N, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So um, first, when we look at profile levels, areas of support that you might want to consider buying, the only thing that sticks out right now is 612.93 and price at 639. So I don't think we, and we're going to, that's on the black background charts. That is our market profile chart. So I don't see anything here. What I do see, though, on the daily time frame is uh, today right now you've got a bearish reversal candle. It's not at the completion of any kind of a pattern out here. So in other words, I don't have an A to B equals CD that I would draw in. All that I have is that Regenerant Pharmaceuticals stopped where it should have stopped. And that was at its TD9 breakdown resistance level. That was at 656.86. That's the green horizontal line that's going across my screen. That is uh, brought to us by the TD9 count pattern, which is uh, a, a very objective way to understanding where a stock breaks out or breaks down. That was the breakdown level. So to see price get to that area, Ron, and pull back, that's just normal and natural. Now, what we also have out here is we have an oscillator and change line that changed colors a couple of days ago. So the buy point on Regeneron would be pulling back and testing and rejecting that level. Now, that level right now is printing at 609 and change. As price pulls back, that probably drops to maybe 608. But use that as your general area. And then what you'd like to see as price is pulling back in that level of support is some type of bottoming signals for a 30-minute time frame or a 65, but some type of short-term time frame. If I look at the weekly chart out here, just looking for any other signals in Regeneron Pharmaceuticals, I don't see anything that's bearish inside of Regeneron for the weekly chart. I don't see any Anything that is really bearish for the uh, monthly time frame chart. So it comes back to the daily. Price hits resistance. Maybe there's a sympathy that is pulling back because of the other uh, vaccine uh, type stocks out there. And so in this case here, Regeneron's buy, buy point would be at about the 609, 608-ish type area. So Ron, any questions about uh, what I've shared with you so far? No, no, I appreciate that because I was considering maybe getting back in, today. not get back in, but getting in today. So I'll just wait. I appreciate well, that. Well, I, I, you know, from a pattern standpoint, look, I, I can't control what the market does next. But what I can do is we can take a look at the charts. We can say, okay, what's the pattern out here? Where's the high probability trade? And uh, that's where it is in Regeneron uh, at this moment, which is that 608-ish area. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Super. Oh, no, go ahead. Any other question? Uh, no, uh, that's all right. Thank you very much. I appreciate okay. that. Okay, perfect. Hey, always good to hear from you, Ron, and to have a uh, terrific uh, Thursday. We'll look forward to speaking okay. to you again soon. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Bye. You, you bet. So, folks, we've got a, uh, a caller on the line. We haven't uh, heard from uh, Garo in some time. It's always a pleasure to uh, hear from Garo. So, Garo, thanks for calling. How are you doing today? Hi. How are you, Steve? Excellent. I'm doing very good. And yourself, how are you doing? Good, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. There is some little bit of discrepancy that I cannot understand is regarding sure. that Nvidia. Okay. Uh, 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 my chart shows 30660. That's where it's going to go, and then it's going to uh, roll down from there. I didn't get that. Where you got that three hundred twelve dollars? Would you explain that for one minute? One minute, please. 
Yep, yep, yep. So uh, what I've got to do is get my other charts up on our screen out here. Please. Yep, Please. yep. So just give me a minute for that to uh, pull up. Re Regeneron right now, we're looking at the weekly time frame chart. This is a series of uh, tools that uh, Garo uses out here to identify um, uh, entry and exit uh, levels. So you've got your parabolic SAR and there's different uh, moving averages, the five day, the 21, the 50, and the 200, I believe. <laughs> but now let me try to yeah. answer the question. The three, uh, what, what did I say as far as, uh, what, what was the specific question was the first time you said 329 and then you said no uh, a to b b to c i don't have that a to b to c ah. and then you say three hundred and twelve dollars or three hundred fourteen dollars uh, but mine it shows three because i bought it at uh, two hundred and twelve dollars and still i have it and i want to get out at 306 uh, okay. because it should my top shows 306.60 Okay, uh, so, so um, I, I'm, I, I may get out on it today, but I, I still I'm not getting where that 312 came from. Sure, okay. So what we're really taking a, a look at is, is different A to B equals CD patterns that are out here. And those are just simply price projection levels. And in the A to B equals CD pattern, a top is not identified, or at least from my standpoint, a top is not identified until we see some uh -huh. type of bearish reversal candle. So any uh -huh. of those levels that I gave you or that I threw out there were just price projection areas. I was not saying, so I want to make sure, so thank you for calling back in. I was not saying that is where price will top out. On the longer term time frame, the monthly chart, the A to B equals CD pattern is very, very clear with regard to where we start the A point and then the B point and the C point. And this suggests, Garo, that the next price target should be 314. I do not mean to say that that is where I believe price will stop because a move above that brings into play 361. So we're going to a breakout here, and I want to make sure I answer your question and answer any other questions you have, Garo. So if you'd be kind enough to stay on the line, we'll come back to Thank you, you. and uh, you. we'll uh, continue to take a look at NVIDIA. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Be back in about three minutes. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. 
Your investment is secured by high value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're on the line with Garo in California. We're taking a look at NVIDIA. And uh, so, Garo, I want to just make sure that, that I'm clear that the questions that I was answering for Hector and Patty were really just about the A to B equals CD pattern. Uh, we weren't taking a look at whether it was topping or anything like that. But the A to B equals CD pattern does give us a – it's like our progressive uh, price uh, projection tool out here. So, um, so, so that's all that that was about. We can do a further look to see when this might top or what have you. But I have a question for you, if you don't mind, and that is this. You had identified a target exit area. And so I'm curious as to what tool were you using to do that. I'd like you to teach me that. I know you use the parabolic SAR. I know we're at new all-time highs out here. Uh, so I, you don't have to. I, just, I don't want to put you on the spot. But but if you if you if you don't mind, I'd love to love to hear that. Garo, do we have Garo? Called TC two thousand. Okay. I've been okay. using it for years, for very yes. many years, yes. and where, that's where, that's where the uh, the resistance is showing at three hundred six sixty. Okay. And, and uh, that goes on your logarithm uh, charting paper. It's not okay. on a regular decimal system. It, it, it. goes from binary to uh, the, the, to logarithm. And when sure. you convert that to decimal, it comes to three hundred six dollars and sixty cents. That's where, but I, I may get out of it today, but, uh, but when, when I heard 314, uh, I got a little bit leery about it. That see that it, there is some small discrepancy. I said, let me call and clear that with you. Sure, sure, sure. So those, that, that, that basically, that 314 was the next price projection level on the A to B equals CD tool. And, uh, yes. uh, and unless we see a bearish reversal candle for that time frame, that was a monthly time frame, that becomes a signal. Now, if we start diving down, like on a daily time frame chart, you've got a nice wide ranging bar today is going to become bar number seven of a td9 count this suggests if it's a td9 count that identifies the top girl that probably doesn't take place until tomorrow through next tuesday out there so hopefully that right. assists you with that always great to hear from you uh we're at the end of the show out here so uh i'll hopefully we'll hear from you again soon so have a, a terrific next thursday week. i'll call you next week thank you sir you you bet. Everybody as well. Two more great hours are lined up, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the normal time, Friday at 1 o'clock. Have a great Thursday, folks.